Hello. We have one of the centrifugal wash machines and have noticed over time that there's a lot of lint that gets pulled out of the clothing and into the drain. And so we decided to put a filter on the drain hose to catch some of that lint. The only thing that concerned me was that if for some reason this should slip off and go down your drain. So I have an idea to put a four inch PVC tubing here that will fit onto the two inch pipe lower down and then have a strainer in here that if this should come off, it would catch it. And also the four inch pipe would make it easier to take out the drain hose and also attach the filter to it. So these would be the parts necessary to increase the size of the drain. So this is a two foot piece of a four inch PVC drain. Then there's a four by two inch fitting that will go on the end of the pipe. So this is a three inch inside fitting that is a threaded transition piece. This just fits inside of the tube. This piece is just a drain that also had some tabs on it that had to be taken off. There's kind of a double channel here and it just happens to fit right on top of this. So I am cutting off this quarter inch edge manually. So this just left a few little ridges. Uh, I did file this down so that both of these just fit inside the four inch tubing. I would like this to slide down onto this as far as possible. However, there are some little tabs inside here that are stopping that from sliding all the way up, so I'll have to cut those off, similar to the ones that were on the outside here. I was able to cut down in there, but I have to use a small pair of pliers to clean out the very bottom. So I'm just smoothing down the inside of this with the soldering iron because this material is soft enough to yield to the heat and it'll just smooth out those little points that I couldn't get to with the pair of pliers. Okay, so it looks like this is even all the way around and that's as far down as it'll go because of the thickness of the top part here. So in order to fit the strainer and the holder inside the four inch tube at about this level, I need to put a shelf inside. So I have a union that I'm gonna use as a shelf but I'm gonna to have to cut it in half so that I have two pieces that are a little bit less than this diameter so that I can hold them in place while the cement is setting. <laughs> That's gonna be a little tricky, but what I'm going to do is build a stop that will be able to support those pieces because the other problem is when you put the piece inside here, you want it to be level so that this piece will just fit right on top of it. So what I'm going to do is cut two four inch square pieces out of this piece of melamine. And then using this piece as a jig base, I'll just set it next to the saw, measure in two inches and drill that hole. Then I'll attach the dowel to the piece that's going to be cut and stick the dowel down into this hole and then just turn it and the uh, table saw should cut a nice four inch circle out of that. So here are the two four inch pieces. I just need to mark the center of these. I have the T-square set at two. Just to double check here, that looks good. That one looks good. I'm just gonna lock this piece down with a couple of screws. The hole on the corner so that they'll be sawed off. Do the second piece. Well, they do look very lined up. Now I need to drill the hole in the jig. Measure over that two inches. These look like they're lined up quite well. Then I'll just have to hook the dowel into each one of these pieces, have it stick through that about three quarters of an inch so it can fit into this hole, and then turn that 
on the table saw and that should give a circle. The dowel isn't exactly the same size as the one and a quarter inch bit. So I had to put some tape around this in order to make it fit into the hole snugly. So this is the way the jig will be set up. It's better to turn the piece this way and then slide it through, cut off all these 45 degree pieces and then come around and trim it. So that's what I'll do. Okay, so this looks really good. As you can see, it will just fit inside this pipe. Then I'm going to put three angle irons on. Unfortunately, I couldn't find one in a fourth inch angle irons, so I bought some one and a halfs and bent those about a quarter of an inch in so that they will fit on here and give plenty of support outward so that that piece that's being glued will be able to set up against there firmly and be level inside the pipe. So now I need to mark where to cut the dowel so that the other piece will fit on. Just line up those two edges. And then I'll cut this off and then fit this piece on right here. Okay, so after cutting, I just wrapped a little bit of masking tape around here in order for this piece to fit in a little more firmly. And as you can see, the platform is sitting there. Okay, so checking this with a T-square. So that is very even all the way around. These were too difficult to mold to the inside circumference, being four inches wide. So I decided to just go ahead and cut them in half, and it'll be much easier to just do a two-inch piece for the shelf to hold the filter. So I will heat up this piece and then conform it to the inside circumference of the pipe. <laughs> Be sure to wear heavy gloves when you work with this PVC that's been heated because these pieces do get really hot. I think the melting point is somewhere between 300 and 360, so to be malleable at least around a couple of hundred degrees. Not really certain, but they are hot. First, I'll form it to the inside of this. It's really malleable now. And hold it there for just a couple minutes. This is the inside holder for the filter. And it basically has the same circumference as this, the inside of the tube. And it's level with the top, so it should make a level shoulder for this piece to sit on. You, know, you have to hold it in position for at least a couple of minutes and then the temperature goes down enough so that the piece becomes rigid again. And I'll just need to do the same thing to the other piece. Here are the pieces for gluing. We have the pipe and then the stand and of course the glue. I'm going to wipe off the inside and the outside of the pieces with alcohol have these sitting on a board that's flat so that even if the garage floor is a little bit unlevel, this piece here will at least be flat for all the pieces to fit together. So these fittings, when they're pushed up against, have to be held for 30 seconds. Moment of truth. This is nice and fluid, so that's really good. off these ledges a little bit here to smooth them out. So now I need to glue the two inch transition piece. So here's the top of the shelf and then you can see the two inch transition piece. After measuring the length of the filter tube it needs to fit onto this pipe 26 inches down. And to make a square cut I have this old plumbing coupling support that I can just put over the drain pipe here. Tighten it down just a little bit. 
enough so it can slide down the 26 inches. And I should be able to make a nice perpendicular cut and that's right at 26 inches. Pull saw is working pretty well on this. It's kind of a tight space. So that did make a relatively straight cut. So in a not too sophisticated way, using a coarse and smoother files, I was able to get this level. So I've taped on just a bit of plastic protection to uh, guard against glue getting all over the machine and floor. So you can see the support ledge down in there. This is the filter support and it just slips right down on top of the ledge. And then the filter just sits right down on that. There's a bit of space between the four inch pipe and this two inch support. So I'm going to just take a shim, a little piece of oak, put it between here and put a band around it to hold it in place. And then tighten this up against there with two tie wraps. That's good and tight. I'm off the pieces here. As far as the filter is concerned, these do seem to be on here pretty well. And then this will just hang down in there. So for now, I just drilled a hole through the top of the tube here and have tie wrapped this around so this doesn't pop out when the pump is running to evacuate the water. So there's the final setup. Just have to wait for some water to come through. So it looks like the water flow is just fine in there. We'll just see what happens as the filter fills up with lint. Thanks for watching. For more videos, please click the link below. If this video was helpful, please give it a like. Thanks.